The other side, the back side. We're aiming for 50 bats tonight. Hey, we got 35 here. Tonight, we're working with staff from the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife and Wildlife Conservation Society to learn more about wild bats and how we can protect them. Northwest Trek is home to one of the largest colonies of wild bats here in the South Puget Sound region. More than 350 bats can be found here during the spring and summer months. So tonight what we'll be doing is um, we've set a special type of trap to trap one of the colonies. Uh, we'll be weighing them, we'll be measuring them, a series of different types of measurements. Uh, we'll be determining what their sex is. And then what we'll be doing is inserting a very small uh, microchip into each one of them. So the next time we get that bat in our hand, uh, we can tell exactly what that bat is and where we trapped it the first time. So wing score one. So tonight I'll be using an echometer, which is an ultrasonic microphone, uh, to confirm what species of bats we have here at Northwest Trek. 40. Okay. Hey. So when we first capture the bats, we'll use the device to confirm what species we have. They'll be processed, uh, tagged, and then before we release the animals, we do it one more time uh, to be able to uh, con double confirm what species we had in hand. Which is a fancy way of saying we're collecting the uh, bacteria and fungi composition on the bat wings prior to the introduction of the probiotic. White nose syndrome is a deadly fungal disease which affects bats. It arrived in Washington in 2016. This disease only affects bats, it does not affect humans. Um, I am part of a project that has developed a novel treatment for white nose syndrome. We have done this by selecting naturally occurring soil bacteria shown to inhibit the growth of white nose syndrome. We liken it to yogurt for bats, which can hopefully help our bats survive. By introducing these healthy bacteria to bats at the summertime, it is our hope that when they are, uh, go into hibernation and they are exposed to the fungus that causes white nose syndrome, these healthy bacteria will aid them in their survival. If this approach works, um, it will be the first of its kind and it will absolutely revolutionize our approach to disease in bats. Bats are amazing animals. They are the only flying mammal and they provide lots of services for people and ecosystems. Uh, one of the biggest is bug control, and so they eat thousands of insects that uh, are not feeding on us then. Bats are amazing animals. Our bats serve as a crucial form of pest control, feasting on insects that might otherwise harm our forests, our crops, and might even impact our human health. A single nursing bat might just eat up to 110% of her body weight in a single night. We love bats, and we are really excited to participate in this important research study that will help protect them.